Martin, I really enjoy talking to my friends about matters of ultimate concern, uh, the nature of science, uh, is there anything beyond the physical world? And I really noticed two radically different kinds of people. If we make them similar, they all may have PhDs in physics mm -hmm. uh, or some science, and some of them see absolutely nothing beyond the physical, entirely naturalistic, and feel very strongly about it. Another group, almost equally as large, would not say that. They would say some of them believe in God. Other, others say that may not believe in the traditional God, but see aspects of reality beyond the physical and, and certainly won't rule that out. And so I cannot differentiate these two groups in any way by demographics, education, intelligence. So if I look at that, I sort of step back and I ask, what is it about the universe that allows these two different groups that look the same to come to such radically different conclusions about the nature of reality? Well, it's certainly the case that among my colleagues, there are people with very different attitudes to religion. And I think those attitudes are determined by their environment and their background more than by their science. And my personal view, as someone who is not at all religious, is that we should accept that there is a tremendous mystery in the universe. The part we understand is a very tiny part, and perhaps always will be because of the limitations of our brain, and we must accept that. We must accept that it's pretty hard to understand even the simplest aspects of reality, so we shouldn't expect to be able to have more than a very incomplete very metaphorical understanding of any deep aspects. So I find myself unsympathetic to people who uh, adhere to any particular dogma as though they know the answers, because I think uh, humans are a tiny part of the universe and many of its complexities are far beyond us. So we must just accept the wonder and the mystery. Now, some of my friends uh, who see an entirely naturalistic view would actually take exception to that because I've said something similar to what you've just said. Mm -hmm. And they would say that that is inappropriately allowing unscientific views of the world to at least have a quasi level of acceptance. And that hurts uh, the progress of science and the progress indeed uh, of humanity. And it is encumbered on science to be more aggressive in uh, dismissing non-naturalistic views. Scientists should obviously ensure that all dialogue is based on our best understanding of science, be that evolution and the Big Bang, etc. But uh, that does lead to conflicts with certain uh, extremist uh, and Protestant sects and many Muslims, um, but of course uh, uh, not with uh, adherence of many other religions. Yeah and not with mainstream Christianity even. But I personally favor peaceful coexistence, as it were, between um, uh, science and the mainstream uh, religions. People uh, on the religious group, at least my subset of friends, and that may be a very um, mm -hmm. a biased uh, a sampling of, of the world, I will admit that, uh, would not claim that their science demonstrates some uh, uh, reality beyond the physical. Uh, I don't know anybody who really believes that, but they would say that, that when they study their science, their faith, if they're, if they're believers, or their sense of a reality beyond the physical is enhanced, that what they see in their science is consistent with uh, their views. Well, I would say that um, reality is probably more complex than we yet realize. Um, this is scientific reality, I would say, but I think we are just at the beginning, and it could be that we will never understand reality at its deepest level. It's a big issue in science whether we have got to the deepest level of physical laws yes. rather than just uh, studying environmental accidents at a higher level. That's a definite physical question. And quite beyond that, there are aspects of reality which... Um, may be beyond our grasp, but I don't see that that is uh, necessarily qualitatively different from the kind of science and the reality that we are able to understand. Do you think that our limitation is in the physical world? Could there be things of the physical world that, that our brains are in principle not capable of accessing because we, we really are, are, are at the 
very deep levels in quantum theory and certainly the earliest stages in cosmology. I mean, it really seems like we're almost there because there's hardly that much further to go. Well, it is remarkable that our brains have been able to cope with the counterintuitive worlds of the uh, cosmos and the quantum because our brains haven't changed much since they evolved to cope with the everyday world of our remote ancestors. Um, but I think even if we do succeed in developing a unified theory of physics, let's bear in mind that that's only one strand of science. It's irrelevant to 99% of scientists who aren't held up at all by the lack of a fundamental unified theory. They're held up because the things they're trying to study, especially in the biological world, are just very complicated. So science is a much broader concept than the uh, fundamental science, so-called, which physicists do. Physics is very fundamental in a way, but it's not the only challenge to scientists. And I think we have to accept that there will be many, many challenges to science, and some of them may indeed be uh, beyond um, our ability at the moment. Do you think we can pose questions that we will be unable to answer, or just have the uncertainty that there may be questions we are unable to pose, which we are obviously then unable to answer? I think if we can pose a question, then that's halfway to answering it. That's certainly the history of science. But on the other hand, uh, the issues that come to our attention may only be a subset of all the aspects of reality that, uh, in principle, some intelligent entity of a post-human or non-human character would be concerned about. So I think we have to understand that uh, uh, we are just a stage in emergent complexity in the universe, which has much more to go, and where we should not expect to have final answers. And I suppose the type of religion I'm not sympathetic to is the type that believes we have the answer and that we humans are the culmination and are central to it.